threatening language. Parents aren't going to stand for this, you know that, eh? A vocal minority in opposition to vaccinations for children are making themselves heard. Not everything being said is pleasant. Michelle Molusky reports. Granted bail. The man accused in the explosion at Windsor Assembly is granted bail. There is a publication ban in place. And looking back. Good evening, I'm Jim Crichton, and welcome. It has been my privilege to be your news anchor the past 21 years. Rich Garten's been going over old tapes, which are now officially retired. CTV News with Jim Crichton. Good evening. A vocal minority in opposition to vaccinations for children are making themselves heard. Of the 2,000 phone calls to the vaccine appointment booking line, approximately a dozen have involved harassing language and misinformation. Now, first of all, a caution, the content of their words to the call center may be upsetting to more sensitive viewers. As Michelle Molusky reports, another example here of what local health officials have long been saying, people are placing their pandemic anger in the wrong place. Thank you, Gary. And so it is time to say goodbye. I'm grateful I get to complete my 47 year broadcast journey in Windsor. It's the last 21 years here that have been by far the most satisfying. Some thank yous are in order. Thank you to my high school English teacher, Mr. Morrissey, who told me to use my voice. To my parents, whose attention to the language and good table manners set me on my path. Thank you for the work ethic, Dad. The many broadcasters, who guided me, who I never properly thanked. The day I'll never forget in 2009 when the community, individuals and trade unions rallied behind the station, then in real danger of closing. The reason we are here today is because of the vocal support of our viewers and listeners. You, your loyalty has made our success possible. 2012 brought my heart crisis. My wife Pat stood by me then as now. We look forward to taking some retirement trips Maybe Route 66 in that 66 Chrysler? Well, I have a couple of Hart brothers I'd like to thank. My director, Dwayne, and technical director, Elvin. Mine may have been the face you saw the most often, but news director Dan Kress heads up a great Windsor team. I am indebted to all my colleagues. They will go on, and I know you will continue to support them. I may be looking in from time to time. Please remember the important work of the Salvation Army, especially during the upcoming holiday season. Thank you. We leave you with the names of your friends on both sides of the camera back here at 11 with your only late local news. For updates throughout the evening, please go to ctvnewswindsor.ca. I'm Jim Crichton. Thank you for watching. Hope you're able to slow down this weekend. Be seeing you.